Okay. Austin needs help with his fairy tale. I'm gonna help him. Okay, so I need to enable the editing and get ready to track changes so I can help Austin out. Okay, hey Austin, this is Miss Green, and I just wanted to talk to you for a couple minutes about um, about your um, essay over Snow White and the Seven Drawers in your analysis. So um, before we start that, let's just do a few little um, changes on your on your MLA formatting, remember, you need to put a dash between the pre-AP and then you need to also include dashes between all of them so it's uniform throughout. Please tell me what period you're in. I know you are oh, no, you're in third period, not second period. Okay. And then we need to remember up in the top section, you need to go over, you need to write a line, and you need to include your page number. Insert, where is it? Uh, page number, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, let's put it in its current position, that'll be great. Remember that it also has to be formatted to Times New Roman 12. Oops, undo. Okay, Austin. All right, so now that we've got, hit escape, go ahead, since now we've got this, um, please go ahead and include a little bit more of an interesting title. Also, remember that for your spacing format, for it to be uniform all the way throughout, you need to do a control A, go up to paragraph, click the spacing option, and go there, and now it's all correctly spaced. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and read through your introductory paragraph and talk about what I see that you're doing well and anything that you might want to correct. So, um, oh, your spacing is not right here. That's wrong. Uh, say double. There we go. Okay. So, racing through the forest, the black-haired, red-lipped, white-skinned princess ran for her life as her hunter pursued her on the orders of her wicked stepmother. The story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was written by the Brothers Grimm's in 1812. In order for her to be the fairest of the all, the queen maliciously attempts to marry, murder Snow White. In order for her to be the fairest one, fairest one of all, the queen maliciously attempts to murder Snow White. Fate, however, let's do, let's do, let's change this. Let's do the semicolon. However, fate emphasizes how. A person is never in control of their de own destiny. Hmm. Is fate emphasizing that, or is the Brothers Grimm emphasizing that? I think I would say, I think I would change it to, however, Grimm, however, Grimm emphasizes. How person is ever in control of their own destiny because of the controlling forces of fate, or something to that nature. Okay, and um, the next section here, the story of Snow White and Seven So again, remember, you don't need to explain. You don't have to repeat it again. You could just say the fairy tale. And it doesn't need to be italicized. The fairy tale explains the tale of a queen trying to kill her stepdaughter, the fairest in the kingdom, Snow White. Okay, I agree with that, but you don't. You need to elaborate on to how does this how does this connect it to your, your your thesis statement? The idea of of them not being able to control their, their fate. This is just simply a summative. Um, what's the word? Just a, just a summation of what's going on in the story. So this is not this is not a strong topic sentence. You need to change it. Okay. Inside her castle, the queen every day asks her magic mirror, who is the fairest of them all. When Snow White is named the fairest, the queen orders her. When Snow White is named the fairest, the queen orders her huntsmen to kill Snow White, and to bring her hardest proof. Okay. 
Um, again, I'm a little worried here because you're not you're not emphasizing right here. I'm just kind of worried because you didn't do. Yes, it's embedded, but you're still like you're going on with summary and not doing the analysis. So here you need to do the um, the um, the analysis and also add the um, the analysis of literary terms and um, of how it's connecting to the topic sentence. So um, Austin, thank you so much for letting me um, look over your paper and share it with um, other other English teachers across the district. They really appreciated it and hopefully I gave you some ideas as what you can fix for next class. Thanks.